Hey guys, happy East Saturday. Uh, yes, I am back with another video and kind of a bit of a review for July. Which, yes, I'm filming this at 12 in the morning. And yes, check this out. Now, I didn't show this like three weeks ago because I was going right till like July 1st to come. Which, yes, today is July 1st. So here it is. I know, it's pretty cool, right? It's a basic Carlito Mattel action figure. I think this is like his final WWE figure before he was released from WWE. But good thing he signed with them like just last night or yesterday evening. Um, yep, uh, this is actually him with the pants before he went back to the... Come on, if my camera will focus. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Okay, still not wanting to focus. But, uh, I'm gonna keep it up close. This is actually his face. If... It will show... Oh, wait, no. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is like the painted on face before they had to use a little, like, special effect effects on the newer figures now. But yes, it's had that little weird peg articulation. But again, this is actually him with the pants on because you can see Carlito. Pretty cool designs. And yep, uh, I don't know what the name of the title of this video, but I'm going to probably name it name it happy saturday uh and basic carlito Dre mattel basic carlito action figure but um anyway guys hope you guys like comment subscribe and have a great weekend but still like comment subscribe okay guys so i actually did get my package from amazon so what did I bought? I bought the series 137 Seth Frick. Well, mostly Seth Rollins. Uh, this is actually his Michael Jackson attire. Like some people say, this is like the one that he wore on SmackDown a few years back. I really still don't remember. When he was a SmackDown superstar, you know. But, uh, I'm gonna unbox this in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And, I remember told, remember I told you guys that I'm getting another Friday Night Surprise plush, which this is the one we're unboxing right now. I still don't get why they put in bubble wrap. Like, but it is what it is. But, yep, uh, also, some of y'all want to know, like, why it says character is here, like, for example, Glamrock Freddy is here. It's kind of like, uh, a reference, like, my own version of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, but, uh, yeah, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get Glamrock Freddy out of the bag. Okay, for the record, I had... To get a drink. Like taking a little drink break. Okay, like, not like what y'all are thinking, but anyway, here's Glen Rock Freddy. Wow. Every single time I look at this, you guys, like, look at Glen Rock Freddy like this. He looks, he reminds me of Jeff Hardy from AEW. There's the security tab. Which we're going to take that off in a second. Come on, you stupid tag. There you go. Darn it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here he is. Out of the bag without the tag on. 
Yeah, um, the last time I did a Five Nights at Freddy's plush unboxing, I want to say it was like about three months ago. Yeah, about three months ago. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so before I start this unboxing video, so the last one that y'all originally were supposed to watch stopped on me because it was too, like, heating up. The phone was heating up a little bit. But yes, we are doing an unboxing of the Mattel Basic Series 137 Seth Rollins. Now, I was originally supposed to unbox this months ago, but... <clears throat> Never got around to it, but hold on. Okay, so here he is in the package. Signature moves are the Stomp and Falcon Arrow, and he's a high flyer. Series you get Roman Reigns, Theory, Daba, Daba, Kato, and Aaliyah. But yeah, let's go ahead and take him out of the box, shall we? Okay, guys, so here he is out of the package. Some people said that he's supposed to, to like have it, uh, this attire he's wearing like right now is from a SmackDown episode he wore because uh, you know he was a SmackDown superstar at that time. But uh, some people said he's supposed to be like this attire is supposed to be like inspired by Michael Jackson. Again, I don't know, but um, pretty nice details and. Have the neat articulation. Yeah. Ankle. Wrist. The elbow. Joints. Has swivel. Waist at the. Swing at the hip. Waist I mean. But uh. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. But anyway guys. If you guys like. Comment. Subscribe. Okay, just for the record, if y'all know about three days ago, which I made a video about this yesterday morning, and I told you guys I didn't do an unboxing video three days ago, because, uh, one, uh, somehow, some way, I still don't see how it was possible, it got canceled. And then, two days ago, it was shipped. And, uh, if y'all want to know what what I'm talking about is actually the game I just pre-ordered a month ago that just came out like four days ago. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this opened, shall we? Okay guys, so here it is, AEW Fight Forever. So, um, yeah, the original cover was supposed to have seen a punk on it, but they had to like redesign it for like, uh, Reasons because of the whole thing with him and uh, the elite, but yeah, so the, on the cover it shows Jay Cargill, the icon Sting, Orange Cassidy, Brian Danielson, aka Dale Bryan, Chris Jericho, MJF, John Moxley, Adam Page, Kenny Omega, the One Wing Angel. Fun fact, he actually did cosplay. Uh, were like had an attire that was inspired by Sephiroth from the movie Final Fantasy VII, Infinite Children, and Adam Cole's girlfriend, Doctor Bree Breet Baker, DMD. So yeah, here's the front cover. Here's the back. Uh, there are screenshots of the game, and yes, I pre-ordered the DLCs already. Well, actually, I didn't actually pre-order them. I just bought them out of a the game came out, so, um, including the Matt Hardy pre-order DLC, so, I'll be right back in the next scene. Okay, guys, so, this is all you could get, and that will be it, but, um, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so, got another package from Kid Robot, ordered this last week, and, uh, Yes, I haven't done, like, a Kid Robot video in, like, since, uh, two months ago on the Deadpool riding a unicorn plush that I tagged my friend, uh, Jake Pool in, who is a Deadpool fan, like me, 
And, uh, yeah, so Kid Robot, I'm trying to wait till they get done doing their pre-orders on, like, the new plushies, like, the Miraculous Ladybug plushies, the other ones, too, like, the Saw plushies, and the Sam from Trick or Treat plushie that they still have on their pre-order. So, yeah, uh, anyway, I'm going to get this out of the bag and see what I got. Well, actually, I'm going to pause the video for a second. So, this is my third Harley Quinn plush. Uh, this is actually from Birds of Prey. Never saw the movie, never cared for it, to be honest. And, uh, I thought it was pretty cool, but I am going to use this in a plush video at some point. So, let's go ahead and get out of the bag. Oh! Okay, I thought her, uh, little hammer is supposed to be, like, made out of paint, and I really don't get why they had to put the tag in the ear. But anyway, guys, I'll be right back. I thought I paused it for a second. So, yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, I saw this in the Target I got the Deadpool plushie for him about two months ago, and I thought I would be pretty cool to have this in my collection but uh anyway guys because like comment subscribe